what we're looking at here is a demo that was um, recently converted to run on the Timex Sinclair 2068 in its native mode. Uh, I am trying to get some settings. I've been messing around with this for a few hours and I've uh, finally got something that will work for the most part without having a flicker fest appear on the screen. Um, this demo takes about um, four minutes to load. I started recording about two minutes into the loading screen. I wanted to capture this. This is the loading screen that um, appears when you first uh, start loading the demo. Uh, this was um, shared with the uh, Timex 2068 group on group.io by Stano and this was uh, converted by Slavo Lebski um, in um, the spring or summer of uh, 2022 which is right now and this demo um, takes a long time to run through all of its music and stuff. It was originally written in about 1993 I think um, in July of 1993 by someone uh, goes by the name of Busy and the music uh, was by someone who goes by the name of Noro. And this was converted to work on April 30th, 2022 with the 2068 and some other systems. So this is running natively now in 60 uh, hertz mode, which is pretty cool. And there's the demo music is a little too fast. I hope this works out okay. About every three to four seconds, the screen will um, kind of turn black and you'll get uh, brightness level changes between um, screen uh, changes, but that's the best I could do. I hope uh, you enjoy this video. I'm going to try my best to show everything that this demo can do, um, and you can load it up on uh, emulation, but I think it really requires... Ah, huh, here it goes. So that's the beginning. Uh, I think this demo requires um, to be seen on real hardware. And this is about the best I can do. I'm showing this on a Toshiba 14-inch flat screen CRT. So um, you can get all 16 colors uh, that are shown in this demo. I also have an RGB out, which I'm not going to use here. Um, I'd get a much better and clearer picture, but you'd be missing half the colors. Um, I would explain this in detail, but um, if you're familiar with the Tomex Sinclair 2068, then you know this is the case already. Uh, this demo is called the LCD demo, as you can see, and I'm able to um, press these certain keys to get to different uh, functions. So uh, this demo also supports left and right channel, which I'd have to change my uh, computer to support, so I can't do that, but I will get into that mode. And to get into that mode, I, um, let's see, I've got the instructions in front of me. Um, let's see, I think it's here. And then, well, this uh, demo, I'm familiar with it, but let's get into this sound analyzer, which is, I think, my favorite part of the demo. But I can also do some uh, interesting things. I can go to, um, let's see. So this is, now I can, this is what I was talking about. Now you'll see the part of the screen here is gray, and that isn't normal. Also, the colors are not quite right. The purple isn't as purple as it should be, but it's about as purple as I can make it uh, using the color settings I have available on my camera. Now if I press C, I get both channels. If I press R, I get the right channel, and left, I get the, or L, I get the left channel. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have stereo on this system, so you can't tell. Um, and even if I did, I'm recording in mono, so it wouldn't matter. So let's get back to the main menu by pressing, I think, Enter. What do I gotta do? Oh, it tells me here. Caps to end this. So, uh, please wait. Now it's unpacking the music. And uh, this has about, I don't know, quite a few songs on it. Um, I don't know this demo great, but I've played it quite a few times. Here's some of the music. So this is supposed to be the TV set. There's a cursor on the screen, if you can see it. I can move it up and down. 
and I can, uh, let's see, press M to change the channel. So now I am in uh, mode so you can, I can continue, let's see, going up the channel. And that's pretty annoying, isn't it? So, okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so here I can also press some other keys. Q, A, O, to control the cursor in teletext mode. I can press zero to nine to change the teletext. But we're gonna skip that. And we're gonna continue here. I'm gonna get to the main menu again. And now from here, I can go to the, let's see, the greetings, which are pretty cool. If you're curious, I'm filming this um, in super high resolution um, at 60 hertz so that I can at least get rid of some of the um, blanking that would occur. Colors aren't quite to my satisfaction, as I've mentioned, but it works. I think I can skip the music. Um, so let's see. And I'm skipping the music to each song by pressing the uh, caps and then the letters on the top row of the keyboard. So right now I'm pressing, um, let's see. Now, I wish these songs had names because I don't know which one is my favorite, but I like, I like most of them. Let's see. Can apparently switch off the music by pressing, yep, pressing uh, caps O switches off the music. Uh, of course, how do I switch it back on? <laughs> um, now, this is the fun of uh, using these demos here, switching on the music. Let's see, maybe, there we go. So that one's a slow one. All right, so let's go, this is the greetings as we have already. What have we got here? This tells us, this is the first version. Welcome to the info part of the LCD demo. This demo is for all 128K and 48K Speccy with sound coprocessor, the AY chip. And of course, this is running on a 2068, which is not a Speccy, but this is the Commodore, Commodore version, the Timex version of this system. Let's see, can I still switch music here? Let's see. I can. That's pretty cool. I do recommend uh, loading up this demo. Uh, you'll you'll enjoy it. It's um, if you're into these sorts of demos. This one I like that I have control over it. I also find that if it was more automatic, I'd, it would be good too. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The sound analyzer. So let's get back to the main menu. This is my favorite part. And what's neat is as I change the music, this demo looks much different. So let's see, let's start with the first song. Really hope this sounds okay. Remember, I am getting the sound uh, into my camera via the small teeny itty bitty uh, internal speaker that's on the Timex 2068. If it sounds teeny, that's because it is. Let's get to the next song. Doesn't that look cool? Come on, try to tell me that doesn't look cool. What do we got? Wish I could capture the colors exactly. You might notice also on the left and right side that there's gray that shows up. On the RGB monitor that doesn't show up. Um, that's, um, I don't remember the technical purpose, but uh, that's a color that is I think only present on the Timex 2068. Might have that wrong but um, it shouldn't normally be seen, but obviously it's seen here. Um, and that's just a side effect of using and running this on the Timex 2068 rather than on the uh, sp uh, Speccy. I'm calling it the Speccy. Should I say ZX Spectrum? All right, let's try another song. Dun, dun, dun. 
Now, if I wanted to, I can change left and right channel, but uh, like I said, I don't have uh, that ability. Um, I can turn the clock on and off, but it's not available on the screen. But you can see it's been running for seven minutes and 10 seconds. Hmm, what else we got going here? Press enter. Um, I should probably show what the 2068 looks like, but you can look that up anywhere. Uh, let's go to the main menu again, I think if I can. This is that screen. Now let's see if I can't get it to go, let's see, let's go up. And press. So let's see. Now I'm. Oh, let's see. Okay, I want to select a page, I guess. Um. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, I think this is where I can select pages. Maybe. I've gotten this to work. I just don't know what the heck I did to do it. Let's see, maybe another page up. Here we go. Extra teletext. So now I can hold down a page. Um, and I've never used teletext in real life, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. Can I also change the music as this is going? Oh, here we go. 300 is hardware. Um, please page. Press key 0 to 9. I, oh, there's probably people watching this going, how come you couldn't figure this out before you did? Uh, I made this video and You've got a good point there. Why didn't I? Well, I tried. Um, let's see. Oh, let's get back to that. So that is the TV is one. Now we want to go up with my cursor. Hopefully that cursor is visible to you. Now I press M for the... So, so Noro wrote this in 1992. It looks pretty cool. Now, I know that's annoying, but you can see eight colors here. If this was being displayed in an RGB monitor, I mean, you can see 16 colors. If this was being displayed in an RGB monitor, you'd only see half these colors. The other ones would be matching the uh, color next to it. And, oh, look at that. Volume level. What happens if I keep going up? Oh, that brings back, back to the bottom. So I think page four is teletext. And all right, I don't know what hold means. So press please plus P and zero to nine. So I want greetings. So if I press eight, now is it enter? No, dang it. If you're getting frustrated with me, that's okay, because I'm getting a little frustrated myself. Let's get back to that volume analyzer, uh, which is what? Four? Yeah, check that out. I think I'm about ready to wrap this one up. Uh, if I had fun showing this video, I really uh, think you should try it on your real hardware if you had it. Uh, the, the original version of this, of course, runs on the Speccy. Um, but if you have a uh, American uh, Timex Sinclair 2068 that runs at 60 hertz, this runs. Um, the music runs a little faster than it should, but um, that is explained in the instru instructions. Um, let's see, what else is there? Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. I um, hope it turns out okay and looks okay. Um, this is, I'm gonna try to, let's see, what's, how many pieces of music are there? I think there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Let's go to the last piece. I don't know if we've ever gotten to that one. Yeah, and um, this music sounds great. Uh, so I'm glad that it was created back in 92, 93. Um, and I'm glad that I'm able to use 
my Timex Sinclair 2068 in its native mode without having to use a Spectrum ROM to run some software. So thanks for converting this. I really appreciate it uh, to Slavo Levski. Uh, and uh, yeah, great job, great job. Uh, thanks for watching uh, my channel. And um, if you get a chance, load this up on your own real hardware. See you next time.